Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've actually done like a vlog vlog video. Um, but I wanted to come on here and open it with this because my hair is down right now. I did straighten it last night. Now this is a year of growth. Like when I say growth, I mean like pure like growth growth because last year in March, I don't really remember the exact day, but I literally like, I literally like shaved my head. I don't want to, I want to say shave. I've like literally had like probably like three quarters of an inch. I'm not even exaggerating. Three quarters of an inch of hair. And within that year, I have grown my hair to this length, to shoulder length. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really excited. Um, I don't, I don't straighten my hair often. I think, um, when my hair was that length for, for like a whole year, I probably maybe only straightened my hair once or twice. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, if you guys want a video on what I did to grow my hair out, it's actually really simple. I really didn't do much to it. But if you guys want to know like my secret or whatever um, to hair growth and how I am maintaining my length from when you go from like literally zero, like no hair to this much hair, it is hard sometimes to retain your length. So... Uh, that's being said, after I'm done leaving my hair straight for about a week or so, maybe two weeks, depending on how good it stays, because I do not plan on putting any more heat in my hair, so I will be forcing myself to wrap my hair at night. Um, and then next week, I am getting my hair put into braids, and then after that, your girl's about to be natural again for maybe another year. Uh, then we'll see how long it goes. If I can double this length, it'll be right here. That'll be pretty. That'll be pretty awesome. But we'll see. Um, if anybody knows me, I actually really don't even like hair. I hate my hair being long. I don't like my hair touching my body, my skin. I just don't like hair for some reason. I really don't. Um, I just don't. But yeah, we're gonna keep it like this, and uh, we'll see what we're gonna have in store for this week. Hey guys, welcome back. I don't even know why I'm saying welcome back. I'm very, I'm okay. I'm saying welcome back because it's literally been a few days, and it's Saturday right now. And yes, your girl is looking rough. Your girl is looking really rough. Um, but best thing said, me and my Kyra are on our way to LA because I am going to go get my hair done right now. Mommy. Yes, buddy. Yeah. What? I need to wash my car. Makai loves to tell me how dirty my car is, even though he's the one who makes it dirty. So, Mommy, but it's been. My, my, yes. Okay, I'll make sure I'll go wash my car so it can be all clean. Um, but honestly, I've not washed my car because it's been raining over here, y'all. So if it's gonna be raining nonstop like cats and dogs, there's no reason for me to go ahead and wash these car. Okay. So, but yeah, like I said, me and Makai are on our way to LA to go get my hair done. Um, and then after that, I might be going out to lunch yeah. with Makaya and some of my uh, friends from high school. I haven't seen them in a year since my other friend's wedding. Um, she got married last year or two years ago. I can't even remember, but that's the last time I've seen them. So we're going to go have lunch and everything, and we're bringing Makaya along with us. And then after that, I need to get back home because your girl still got a lot of stuff that she got to get in the way. Okay. Alrighty, y'all. So me and Makaya are back home. We got home actually a while ago. Um, the other reason why I didn't film when as soon as we got back is because... Me and Makai fell asleep, like, honestly, truly. Like, I am uh, that person, I am that woman, I'm that mom, that sister, that wife, that whatever. I am that woman, that girl, who needs to take a nap every day, if she gets to. If, if I am not working in the morning, I'm gonna take a nap. If I am working in the morning, I'm gonna take a nap when I get home. Like, I just need a nap, like, that's all. But, yeah, um, so... I got my hair done. My cousin did it for me. She actually braids hair, y'all. So if y'all are in the LA area and y'all need your hair done, hit up my cousin, bro. She she got you. She gonna hook it up, y'all. She yeah. She gonna hook it up. Let me see if I can put y'all down really quick. Yeah. So this is what my hair's looking like. I actually love this color too. Um, 
I'll put in this, the description box uh, my cousin's information and then I'll also put down which color I got because this is literally going to be my go-to color now. If, like if I'm not doing all black, this will literally be my go-to color. So, I'm actually down here because your girl wants some coffee and I'm pretty upset because y'all, I ain't got no coffee and it's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock p.m. It's 8 p.m. right now. And I don't have no coffee. And since me and Micaiah was gone practically the whole day, not that it took her the whole day to braid my hair, we just, you know, my cousin, we spend, I spend time with my family when I go out there. So, um, me and Micaiah didn't really get home until, um, what, 5? Yeah, we got home around 5 o'clock. And we took our nap. I took a two-hour nap. And, yeah, that's where we are right now. But I I literally need coffee, guys. I need coffee. I normally drink coffee three times a day, and that's no lie. So I was looking, I was looking through the coffee that I have, and this is all that I found. This is little Folgers instant coffee crystals. I don't drink that. I bought um I got this one day when I was shopping with my mom. Um, only like. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I got it because it was 99 cents. And I was like, let me try the 99 cents uh, coffee. Yo, when I say it tastes like 99 cents, it does taste like 99 cents. So I will still be sticking with my Starbucks coffee. I love the Starbucks instant coffee. The Columbia um, and the Pikes Place. I used to be a fan of Veranda, but I don't get Veranda anymore. Only because now that I have been drinking coffee so often, the Veranda is too light of a taste for me. Um, so I normally just stick with medium roast. I can't do dark roast. That's still too strong for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Since it's so late, I know 8 o'clock people might be, that's maybe late, Jasmine. But for me, that's late, y'all. If it's 8 o'clock, best believe I ain't going nowhere. Unless me and y'all were going out on a date and we were going dancing or something. <laughs> nah, honey, you would not see me out. I know 8 o'clock p.m., especially bringing my client with me. Absolutely not. The way this world is acting now, and all these crazy people, I'm so sorry if that offended somebody, but people nowadays, y'all gotta watch your bags. Y'all can't just be going everywhere all hours of the night, man. People are, people for real getting snatched up. People are really getting snatched up nowadays, so you will not catch me out. I know 8 o'clock with my baby outside. Absolutely not. I'm going to go back to my mama's rules. 8 o'clock. No, not 8 o'clock when the street lights come on. You better be inside this house. And I'm I'm taking that one to the grave with me. That man, that rule going to apply for me too. And I'm and I'm 27 years old, y'all. And that rule is still going to apply for me. Mm -hmm. So, that's being said, I got off topic. And I just, literally just went on the whole rant. But watch your back, y'all. Watch your back out there, ladies. And men. Just watch your back in general. Always be aware of your surroundings. But like I said, since this is... <laughs> So this is all I got for tonight. I'm probably just going to go ahead and make me this instant coffee. This Folgers. Like, literally, this is the stuff that my mama used to drink. Like, when I wake up, get ready for school, my mama be up with her Folgers coffee. Like, don't play with my mama and her Folgers coffee. But, yo, Folgers coffee just don't work for me. Um, But, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to be stuck with that because it's too late for me to go out. But I'm scared. Not scared, but... I'm saying I'm scared because I'm afraid that if I don't drink this coffee, I'm going to have a whole attitude because I am that person that gets cranky when I don't have my coffee, okay? So let me go ahead and make this coffee and let me make it. Oh my god. Bless me. I don't know why I feel like there's a whole SMA on how I'm making my coffee now.
Oh, jeez, y'all. <laughs> this needs something. And I don't put sugar in my coffee. I don't want to do for creamer, but this... <laughs> oh, no. I don't believe her as is. All right, y'all. So, I got my coffee. Um, I'm probably going to go and write in my journal for a little bit. That's normally what I like to do to um, rewind. Unwind, so rewind to unwind for the night. Um, so I'm probably gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna drink my coffee because there's still some stuff I need to do. Because I also just put a load of laundry inside the washer, so I have a load of laundry going right now. I'll drink my coffee, write in my journal for a little bit. Micaiah's upstairs watching Ryan's World, and I'm probably gonna also do a um. A devotional um read a few pages out of this book that i've been reading called um it's okay not to be okay and i yeah i i'm barely on page like 50 ish but i feel like that book has really been helping me and i will go ahead and share that with you guys too and let you guys know i think i've already showed it in a video once but i'll be showing it um more now lately more now lately what the freak is coming out of my mouth board um, but yeah, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead once I feel more relaxed and feeling okay to get up and start moving again. Then I will go ahead and give Micaiah his bath because I'm pretty sure he's probably not going to go to sleep until maybe 11 o'clock since he did take about a three hour nap and it's already late when we woke up. So we were tired. I honestly don't mind because I'll probably be up too. So, Micaiah, I'm going to give Micaiah his bath, and then after his bath, um, once he gets back to occupying himself and doing like some arts and crafts or whatever and coloring, I'm going to go and try to finish learning my lines because, guys, I am in a theater production for school. I am almost, I'm literally this close to graduating, y'all, this close to graduating from school. Um, oh, let me just go ahead and put that out. I want to tell anybody. Y'all, I'm 27 years old, and I started going to college. Let me get my coffee, y'all, because I feel like this is about to be a story time. Let me put this down. All right, this is a very weird angle. I apologize. Um, I am still working on getting myself a tripod and a new ring light at that. So until then, until I'm able to get all that stuff, I'm sorry, I keep playing with my hair. I just keep playing with it. Um, until I'm able to get all of that stuff, this is what we got to do. Um, but yeah, story time. So let me tell you guys, like I was saying, I am literally this close from graduating. I, I, I need like three more credits, I believe. I think it was four. I think it was four more credits I needed left to graduate. Now, like I said, I started going to college to get my AA, y'all. Just my AA. I started going to college to get my AA at um 17 and i originally went to that college because the guy that i liked was going there but then me and him broke up literally like a month or two us going there and then after that i really rarely saw him on campus and then i, I really don't know what happened to him but that's besides the point that's the reason why i actually went to the college that i went to originally but um also during my first semester of college i got diagnosed with myasthenia gravis and that's basically where i wanted to center my youtube channel around because it is such a rare disease that not a lot of people know about um i just wanted to let anybody that's have that does have myasthenia gravis or does have a autoimmune disorder or some type of, some type of illness and you think that living your life is impossible it's impossible like you can and that's why i wanted to make these videos to show you like Yes, I may have like this disability or whatever. I never like to call it a disability, but yes, I do have things that may set me back in life. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. Then that doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying. Doctors told me I was not not that I wasn't, but doctors told me that if I had a child, I would not make it through labor and delivery. So they always I want to say scared me. They always scared me into not having children. So when I did get me and y'all got pregnant with Micaiah, it was it was very scary and it was to the point where 
And when we went for Makati's first ultrasound, I didn't want to listen to it. I didn't want to listen to his heartbeat. And I regret that because I was scared. Because I was like, you know, I'm going to go through this and this baby might, might take my life. Like, might take my life. And so I really, like, sad to say, like, I really didn't want anything to do with him. And that's, that's like me being honest. This is like a for real story time right now. Um, but I went through liberal delivery with no epidural. I had an all natural delivery with Micaiah and I love my child, y'all. When I tell you guys I love my child, I love my child and I cannot imagine life without him. And I'm so thankful. Like, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. That's something to be thankful for. And I thank God every day that I have a child. Because I didn't think I would. I never thought I would have a family of my own at that. But back to the school part. Went back to my, my first semester of starting school. And that's when I got diagnosed with my senior gravis. And when I tell y'all, I literally got every symptom of that disease. I got every symptom. I had slurred speech. My eyes were going cross-sided. And since my eyes were going cross-sided, I had double vision. And then on top of that, I had problems breathing correctly. And then my legs would give out on me. And then my arms, I would drop things all the time. Like literally, if I picked up like a kind of little energy sippy cup, if I was to pick this up right then, it would just fell out my hand because I had no strength to grab it. I could not brush my teeth, y'all. I could not, I could not move my tongue. I couldn't do any of that. I couldn't, like I couldn't. Like, I just, like, I couldn't. Like, that's a real disease, y'all. So, um, I stopped going to school for a whole year. Just imagine that. You fresh out of... Sorry, I thought my was crying. You fresh out of high school, literally just graduated, going to... About to start your life in college and... Stop. Yeah, no, you can't go any further. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200, y'all. Like, literally, my life went to a whole halt. For a whole year, I did not go to school. And then when I did go, I would only take maybe one class a semester. Maybe two classes a semester. Maybe. Because I could not push. My body would not go to that level that I needed to do. Physically, I could not do it. Mentally, I could not do it. I couldn't. And I would get so, um, I remember I had this conversation with my mom. And I told her, I, I, I think I asked her, I told her, I said, I always tried so hard because I wanted you and dad to be proud of me. Because I am the oldest sister from my dad's side. I am the oldest. And my youngest sister, both of my youngest sisters, my little sister is about to go off to a uh, um, university, okay? She's about to finish with her AA and go to university to get her bachelor's. My other little sister already has her bachelor's, and I'm still working on an AA. I told my mom, that's embarrassing for me. And I would literally, I would just feel bad because I felt like I was just a failure to my parents. So when I would do stuff, I did it because I wanted my parents to be proud of me. And I remember I asked my mom, I said, Mom, like, are you proud of me? I want you to be proud of me. And that was a real conversation I had with my mom literally a few months ago. And she started crying because she said, I am very proud of you, Jasmine. You are a fighter because you did not let this disease take over your life. You don't let this disease take over for what you're trying to do in your life. Like, you are a fighter. And because of you are a fighter, you are my daughter, and you have not given up yet. I'm so very proud of you. And I literally, me and my mom literally sat on the phone boohoo crying for that. Like, we really did. So that's why I was telling y'all this, because I don't want anybody to ever think that it's ever too late to go to school. It's never too late to go to school. And even if you are taking it a little bit longer, that's okay. Because your path is different from everybody else's path. You're not going to have the same path as your sister, as your brother, as your best friend, as your mama, your daddy, or your grandma, your grandpa, anybody. You're not going to have the same path as them. So instead of wallowing in self-pity, you need to make a cautious, conscience, cautious, conscious, that word. You need to make a decision, point blank, period, whether or not. If you're going to if you go let this thing ruin you, or you're going to tell, you're going to show them who's the boss because you know who you are. 
And that's what I did. And that's why I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself because I can say that I am this close to graduating and it's taken me 10 years, guys, just to get an A, A. But I did it. I'm doing it. So that. That was really heartfelt and that was about seven to eight minutes of me talking. But if y'all stayed with me for the seven to eight minutes, thank you very much. Y'all are some, y'all are, y'all are real troopers. Thank you. Now, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go write in my journal. I'm gonna do my devotional. And then when I'm done drinking this coffee, I'm gonna go get, put my car in the bathtub. And we must get it on. And then I'm gonna start finishing my lines and memorizing my lines because in two days, I need to be off book when I was actually supposed to be off book last week. And I just, honey, that was not about to happen. So, see y'all in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's been almost an, ugh, my hair. It's been almost an entire week since I went and got my hair done, which it means it's been an entire week. I'm sorry, I cannot talk. My voice is so raspy. I've had play rehearsals yesterday and uh, we're going on a month now on play rehearsals and my voice is literally starting to feel it and look at me drinking coffee um but on today's agenda i need to deep clean our bedroom because i made a mistake and left a lollipop not just one but a bag of open dum-dums in my purse and when I came home yesterday from play rehearsals, there was an enormous trail of ants in our bedroom leading straight to my purse. So, your girl had to go get the ant spray. I sprayed the walls, I sprayed the dang old floors, I sprayed my purse down, I threw my purse in the shower because I cannot stand ants at all, y'all. Especially when they're forming like bigger groups like that. So, today I need to go deep clean. I plan on deep cleaning the bedroom. Um, I also need to finish the laundry. I need to clean out the shower. And then I need to go to Target. And I need to buy some tea that I like. Because I don't like hot tea at all. But if I want my voice to um, be fine for our production next week. Our production is going to be next week. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If I want my voice to be functioning properly. Your girl need to go get some tea. So that's what I plan on doing. Oh, and then Saturday, me and Makaya are going to be going to my sister's because my niece just turned four a few days ago. And so they're having a little bit a birthday get together for her. And then so we need to go buy her a present. So, yeah, that's practically it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to really record the cleaning part because, y'all, it's probably just going to be a lot of me freaking out. I shut up. Wow. Hey guys, so me and Makai are finally about to leave for Target. It's um like four minutes till 12, I should say. Mommy? Yes. It's having a good Target, big Target. Yes, we're going to the bigger Target. Ah. I am super tired right now. I'm literally forcing myself to go to Target um, because we really do need to get some stuff um, because I do want to get some stuff for Makai for Easter that we haven't gotten yet and I don't like when... <sighs> I wait till the last minute and then everything's gone so I'm trying to avoid that today. Hopefully there is still stuff for Easter. If not, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna make it work though. Um, that's being said, I did say it's almost 12, right? So I have to be at school at four today and your girl needs a nap. So I'm gonna try to only spend an hour in Target. I wanna be home no later than like 1.25ish. Um, and then I'll be able to take like an hour to two hour nap and then leave for school around three o'clock So, um, yeah, I already cleaned up the room. I cleaned up the bathroom the shower and Yeah That's where we are right now On Friday, we are back now. I did not film in Target only because I do have Makaya and not saying that I can't film with him, but I cannot film with him because when each time we go to the store, he likes to run. So I just, I can't just be trying to film and talk to you guys and trying to make sure he ain't running nowhere. And then it would always end up happening. He always ends up just going in the basket, which is technically what happened now. But since I am home, I'm going to show you guys what I did get. The only thing I forgot to get was, um, I forgot to get 
myself some tea. So we do have a box of tea here, but it's turmeric green tea. And I, honestly, bro, I don't even think I'm gonna like that. So I am gonna have to go back to the store sometime this weekend, or when I do go to my sister's house to see if she has any tea that she can let me have. Um, but yeah, let's show you guys what we got. So I decided to go ahead and just make Makaya his Easter basket. Uh, we need a creamer and apparently they've been selling out of these fast. So I just bought two of these because this family goes through a lot of creamer. Um, so, oh, and this is for my niece for her birthday. But uh, we did get Makaya this. He can actually have this now only because it has been so hot. It's just like a, a spray fan with a mister. So it's pretty fan well. Um, I got him a little t-shirt because it is getting hotter. I only got one though. Um, the only thing I don't like about Target is that their selection of boy clothes is so small. <sighs> I wish they had more. So we're going to do this little egg maze. What is it? Egg mazing? Okay. Egg mazing. So we're going to go ahead and do this. This is not going to go in this Easter basket, but this, this is a basket. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, I just got a solid Hershey's chocolate bunny. We're going to get him these because I've been trying to get him some. No, we're not going to get that right now. Um, we're going to be doing... Oh, guys, I'm so mad. I literally thought I put this back. I thought I put this back. It's okay. I guess we're going to do a lot of arts and crafts. So we went ahead and got the ceramic egg kit. And what else? Oh, these are the ones that we're going to be hiding around the house. Or outside, we're going to be hiding that. Got the little confetti to put inside of this. And then these are going to go in the bag as well. So, yes, yes, yes. And we're going to put one of these wooden bunnies in here so then he can be able to um, paint it. And then I just got some of these. Just some Hershey's. Mainly I got the Hershey's because this is for me because I love these. And then we also went ahead and got these um, Sweet Tart Gummies, Gummy Beans. And I am going to do a mixture of Gummy Beans and the Hershey's. I didn't want to put those in the eggs only because since it is hot, I'm still debating if we're going to do that Easter egg hunt outside or inside. Possibly inside. But since I did get those, I didn't want um, these to melt inside the eggs. So, that's why I try to stick with mostly just the gummy candies. And then, also, we are going to go outside, though. That's without a doubt. Um, so, I went ahead and got these water balloons. And last time I made the mistake, I only got one. And him and Destiny went through those, like, like crazy. So, I went ahead and just grabbed two different ones. Um, and, yeah. I mean, that's, that's practically everything I got. I, didn't, I don't think I really got crazy went crazy i went, actually bought these like last week but i forgot they were in my trunk so i'm actually just gonna go ahead and make me and makaya some of that right now and then we already got eggs and yeah that's about it mini target haul guys i mean look what came in guys i'm so excited sorry i know my voice is a little raspy but i just woke up Alrighty, so we're gonna be doing um our unboxing today i did get my april faith box and it is like the middle of april i did get my faith box um the first week of april but i'm barely getting um around to opening it because is my favorite that I've been having. So it looks like this box is going to be the box of grace. And we already know what this is. This is um, like our daily devotional stuff that has inside of this. So I probably will be doing two devotionals a day just so I can play catch up on them. And then the impact guide, this is basically everything that's going to be inside of the box. And it gives you an overview of a more, um, an overview and a more in-depth information on why they put what they did in this box. Let's see if I can just stop making this. Oh, okay. You are his. Psalms 103.
I have my little devotional little card or yeah uh-huh and then we have our like monthly um memory verse i guess you can say i like i think these would be great memory verses just have a whole month to memorize the whole verse and also use like a statement verse that they want you to really really study this month so this one and they're coming from hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 and it says let so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious god there we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most again that is hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. And then, of course, you have your um, monthly overview of the dates, your calendar, so you can mark off what day you what day you have done already. Sorry, there's a lot of like little tissue paper thing in here. Oh. So it came with this. Is a picture of uh, what is that tree called? Pomegranate. So it looks like a pomegranate um, lip balm. So it did come with a little chapstick. How cute is that? I like that it's like oval shaped and not like a circle. I don't know. I feel like the oval shapes actually fit your lip because our lips are not a circle in my opinion. They really are an oval. Another pencil pouch I did. If you guys saw the other unboxing that I did um, in a whole separate video. But they also came with a pencil box and here's another like pencil pouch. This one's really cute. Yeah, I actually haven't even used my other pencil pouch yet, so that's something I need to get too. Uh, huh, okay. A pen, a marker, like a thin, thin, thin marker. Let's see if I can open this. Let's see if there's a blue pen on right there. Hmm. Oh, what? I lied. This is a brow pencil. Okay, now they don't like little makeup. Hmm. It's definitely not my color. <laughs> I'll tell you guys that right now. Um, but I think this is pretty cool. It's a brow pencil, but I think I can, can probably use it for like um, an eyeliner. Just because of how bright it is on days when I want to probably just brighten up underneath my eye. Or my eyelid. What am I trying to say? I said eyelid, but eyelid is right here. That part. So it's a brow pencil, but they gave it to me in the color blonde, and obviously, y'all, I am not blonde. <laughs> um, so there's that, and then we got another book. Huh. It says Corey Ten Book or Boom, sorry, Corey Ten Boom. The Hidden Places. So this is uh, the book that we got for this month. I haven't even finished reading the other book that we got for, what month is that? I think that was February. February? No, was it January? I forgot the first one that I did. I forgot it was February or January, but um, I'm only halfway done with that book. So then after that book, I will be reading this book. Okay, so I came over. <coughs> came over to the floor because um this box is probably a little bit bigger um so uh, this one is from kim kardashian's fragrance line and they were having a 40 40 50 percent off sale which is really good and um as I told you guys before, I don't, I've always wanted um, a fairly large perfume collection. I'm not going to say like gigantic, enormous, but a fairly large, like a decent size. Um, so for the past six months, I've been collecting, oh dang, how many did I get? For the past six months, I've been collecting, um, I've been collecting perfume and um, I think I have about right now and so I'm adding these I bought three so I'm gonna be adding these three so ooh, I, love this. I don't even know what any of these smell like just to be honest with you because 
I went for the packaging and then I've been I read like some of the the um, scents that it has in it this is so cute okay let me show you so this is a KKW Kim K West fragrance line this is an opal drip this is what the package looks like I love that like iridescent type that's so cute so guys look at it it looks like a little egg like perfect for freaking Easter right so here's this one super cute I smell it I believe I got this one for 24 it was 50 50% 50 off so it was 48 Oh yeah, this one smells good. I'm not really, I'm not really good at explaining what it smells like because we all just be like, oh, that's masculine. Mm, that's fruity. That's um, woodsy. That's something like that's basically how I describe fragrances. Or other people be like, that's old woman smell. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really tell you the notes of everything that's in it, but I can, I can put it in the description box if you guys want me to. And this time I really will because I feel like I always say, oh, I'll put it in the description box, and then I never do. Yes. So this is the one that I originally wanted last time when I bought from there. I had wanted Nude, nude Suede. And when I had purchased the first one, I accidentally got Nude um, Soleil. Okay, so and uh, they sound the same, but they're spelled completely different. So I don't even know how I messed that one up. But yeah, so I finally got Nude Suede. Which, this is the one that my mom actually gave me like a small little sample size of it. And I freaking fell in love with it. Nobody else loved it because they all said it smelled like old lady. But I don't know. I guess you can call me an old lady and I love that smell. So here's the packaging. I'm trying to do this all cute and it's like not working. There's the packaging for it. Yeah. I'll spray the air because I already sprayed my body and I don't want to have too many different scents on my body. Oh my god, guys. I say this scent, the way I describe this scent, it's like when you're going to church and like one of those like older women, I mean, there you go with the old lady scents, but one of those older women is like, well, Brian, just like, dang. Like, or like, you'll just be like, yeah, that's a scent my mama would wear. That's how I feel about this. So like, yeah, that's a scent my mama would wear. I love this scent. It smells so good. I also got... Hmm. Okay, so I got a different fragrance. This one's called um, Kim KW X Chris. So I believe this is the one that she did with her mom. And I remember when I saw it online, I actually really did like the, the, the packaging of it. So that's, I think that's one of the main reasons why I got this scent. I can figure out how to open it. cute I like it looks like I don't know like Egyptian kind of like stuff there's the packaging of it I'll probably do like a whole like little my perfume collection to show you guys all the perfumes that I have been collecting over the last six months and let me see Ooh. I would say this is more like the, it does smell like a little florally, which is weird because I don't really, sorry, it's tickling my nose. <laughs> it does smell a little flor florally, which is funny because I don't really like floral scents, but this one it smells good. It's very different. I love it. Yeah, so those are the three perfumes that I have got since they were having a 50% off sale. I think this one, this was normally like $60, so I did get it for about 30 so now I can say that I have in total, how many of her perfumes that I have in total? I have six of her perfumes in total. Six? Yeah, I have six. So as you can tell, I really love her collection of perfumes. And I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. 
Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm so sorry. It's been like a while since I posted. Um, if I haven't mentioned it. I have been in a theater production for school. So that's been taking up a lot of my time. So, and this is performance week. A week and we already had a show yesterday so then we're gonna have one tonight tomorrow and then Sunday yes on Easter Sunday and that's going to be the end of that show so yeah that's why I've been kind of in my a for the last two weeks so I am gonna be posting this video today you guys should see this video today if you're watching it today <laughs> Um, but yeah, and then after today, after this video, I will be more consistent again with my videos. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys come back and enjoy me next time. Love you guys. Bye.